Hey everyone, so my name is Jamie, and in September of 2013, I created a Facebook page called Jamie's Journey. I was scared. I didn't know what would happen by me sharing my story so publicly. For those that don't know, I was born with 18 rare birth defects. I am 24 years old, and I have had a total of 112 surgeries. I was born with birth defects like spina bifida, club feet, bladder extrophy, cueca extrophy, and perforated anus. I have an ileostomy and a metrophenol. For those that don't know what any of that is, I will explain in my later videos. I created a Facebook page in September of 2013 in hopes of helping others. Like I said, I was scared. I didn't know if I would be bullied or what would be said. Truth is, when I walk outside, I have been always made fun of because of my height. Is it right or wrong? People just need to keep their comments to themselves. But, at the same time, I knew no matter what kind of feedback my page would have, I knew in my heart I could make a difference. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I want to make a difference. See, being born with so many birth defects, you don't know what the next 20 years are brief. When I was born, the doctors didn't know if I would live one hour, one day, one year, or how long I would live. I mean, I was born with 18 birth defects. Now, I'm 24 years old. I have a voice, and I plan on using my voice and giving others hope. Some people may see that and think, oh well, she's not really doing it for that reason, or she just wants you to feel sorry for her. Truth is, I don't care if you feel sorry for me or not. I really don't. Because this is my life. In the past week, I've had to change a lot of things on my page. And I didn't want to totally stop sharing my story. Because I have helped way more than I could have ever imagined. When I created my Facebook page, Jamie's Journey, I said that if I could help one person, then everything I'm just talking about is worth it. Because I made a difference in that one person's life. Never in a million years did I think that my story, my journey, would matter to so many mothers and fathers and people just like me who were born with these rare birth defects. Truth is, for more than half my life, I've been trying to prove to others that there's more to me than just my medical. And there is. My medical realms don't define who I am, but without them, I wouldn't be who I am. Now, Jamie's Journey page, as of last week, was at 450 people have liked it. Because of some comments made in my family, I closed that page. I haven't posted much. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't posted much because, in a way, I feel violated. There's people in my family that think that just because they watched me grow up, that they have a right to tell my story. But the thing is, this is my story. This is Jamie's journey. Just breathe. On the outside, I'm strong. 
On the inside, I'm hurt. I'm not going to say who it was. But what I will say is I'm taking my power back. And this person will not. I got to tell my story. Jamie's journey. The truth. Because even if you watched right next to my bedside, and you watched me go through over a hundred surgeries, you weren't the one that went through the pain. You weren't the one that went through the operating room doors uh, over a hundred times. On the outside, Sorry. I'm sorry. On the outside, I'm strong. That's the only way us kids can go. That's the, if we're not strong on the outside and we just break down all the time, we wouldn't make it. We are fighters. Everybody around us sees that. That's the only way we can keep going. The truth is, nobody but me went through those operating doors. When I said goodbye to my family and friends, I didn't know if I was going to make it out alive. I don't know if I'm going to ever see them again. Nobody but me knows how it feels to be poked over 20 times just to get one IV in. Or how it feels to have a IV blow and have to be stuck another 20 times because you have no veins left. This is why I'm telling my story. Because nobody knows the truth. You can read about this all you want to online. All the documents doctors have said and done. But the truth is, unless you live it, you don't know. Sorry, I wasn't trying to cry. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, this is my story. I choose what I want to put out there for others to read. Nobody else has that decision but me. I created this page to help others and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not quitting. I'm not going to give you the privilege of taking my gift away. My gift to others is sharing my story. To let others know that even though you are born with spina bifida, club feet, Quaker XB, OEIS, bladder XB, it doesn't matter. Because even though it's hard at times, and yeah, I mean, I wish I didn't have to have all these surgeries. I wish I was like any other 24-year-old woman. But even though it's hard, and especially in the early years when you have to have so many back-to-back -back surgeries, the truth is we do grow up. We do go to school. We do make friends. We do grow up. And if we're lucky enough, we'll find a man or a woman that want to be with us and will respect us and love us for our medical problems with or without them. I'm lucky enough to have an amazing husband. 
who supports me, loves me, and gives me the courage to keep going. A lot of things have changed since I was very little. And it's hard. I'm not as close as my family as I would like to be, but there's reason. And I want you to think about that for those who have grown up with me. There's reason that I'm not close. If you have to question it, you know something was said to me that I'll never be able to forget and forget. But what I will say is that since becoming an adult, I've been able to make my own choices. Along with my husband's help, who has been there through thick and thin with me, he is everything a parent should want for their child. He's amazing. His family is amazing. No family is perfect, but sometimes you gotta make your own decisions. This is my story, not anybody else's to tell. I know it was hard watching me go through all that. It is, but this is my story, from my view, from my eyes, and I'm going to keep telling it, but in order to do that, I can't, I don't know. Some people just think that because I'm born with so many mental problems that I can't do anything in life. And that's not the truth. My message that I'm trying to share with people, parents of these kids like me, is your child can do anything they want to. Don't ever let them settle. But more importantly, give them their freedom to express themselves because they will learn their own limitations. Jamie's journey will have its ups and downs. As many of you parents have watched us kids grow up and seen. But I grew up. I was that baby in the NICU. That doctors didn't know if I would survive, but I'm here. And truth is, I'm happy. I wish my family was a little bit more supportive. And, but with or without them, I'm stronger. They raised me to be strong. For that I thank them. So, this page is going to keep going. This page will allow me to protect my privacy more. And my photos will only be allowed to be viewed by friends. I want to keep this page going because I have helped so many and so many of you guys have written me the kindest and the sweetest letters I could have ever imagined. Like I said, I didn't think my voice mattered. When I got that first email from 
a little girl's mother, saying that she read a couple posts from me and that I gave her hope. That was my sign from God. I prayed to God to create this page to help others. Give me a sign so I know what to do. In my heart, I've always shared my story, but I've never shared it with the world. Because I have been bullied as a child and even now. That's why I want to share my story too. It's not our right to bully, whether it's your family, your friends, strangers. You are not alone. And together we are stronger. I could have never imagined what Jamie's journey page would become. But I thank God every single day for allowing me to touch so many lives and to also allow others going through similar challenges and surgeries with these birth defects to be able to ask me questions so that they can help guide their children. Because truth is, no one case is alike. Every surgery is different. Every child is different. What worked for me may not work for you. But to have that support from others is everything. So that's it. That's what's been going on. I'm not going to say who said stuff to me, but I will say that I'm taking my power back. This is my journey. Nobody else's. And I'm not going to stop sharing my journey just because somebody thinks that they have a right to share my journey with the world and, and have it be not the truth. It's, it's nobody else's business but mine. And what I share with the world is what I want to share. I want to thank everybody for adding this page back. For showing their support. For not only allowing me to be part of your story and journey, but for also giving me hope along the way too. I pray for all of you guys and again guys thank you for following me and my journey thanks guys